I was seven months pregnant when I was diagnosed with a brain tumor, a very rare brain tumor, a craniopharyngioma that I guess, I still don't understand totally what it was, but I think it's primarily in children. Craniopharyngioma is a, you know, quote unquote benign disease, right? Uh, it, uh, you, it's, uh, it's a benign brain tumor. It's, it's found in the, um, in the area that we call the uh, paracellar region of the anterior skull base. Many, many critical neurovascular structures, the hypothalamus is there, the pituitary gland is there, the pituitary stalk, some cranial nerves are there. Uh, so it's a benign process in that it's not a cancer, but it is far from benign in terms of its location and, uh, and, uh, and what can happen if it goes untreated or not, is not treated appropriately. When I originally had started complaining about my symptoms, they ordered an MRI. And then when the doctors saw that MRI, they immediately referred me to Dr. Liu. By the time she came to see me, she was pretty far along. I mean, she was very symptomatic. Um, she was rap She had, you know, lost a lot of her vision as far as the peripheral uh, vision, visual fields are concerned. Um, in addition to that, you know, she was really starting to run into memory problems. Basically, Dr. Liu and my OB had to work together to come up with a time that worked for both of them. What's the safest time this baby can come out where my vision wouldn't be compromised? What I told her was, look, you know, let's get you through the pregnancy, right? We'll monitor you very carefully in terms of how you're doing, how your vision is doing, and how your hormone levels were doing because, you know, one of the things that this affects is the hormones and you kind of need those when you're pregnant, right? So I had 10 days with my baby, five days in the hospital with my little boy and he was premature so he was in the NICU and then I came home and had five days at home with the baby and I knew I think the scariest thing is I knew I was gonna have to leave him to come up for brain surgery and then of course I didn't know what was gonna happen but Dr. Liu again said we're gonna get you home to that baby as soon as we possibly can you're doing the right thing and it just I needed that reassurance all along. So listen, you know, we've got we've got some uh, some priorities here, and, and here they are in this order. You know, number one, right? I want you to come out alive, right? I want you to uh, come out, Kelly, right? That you know you're Kelly. Right? Uh, I want your vision to be better, you know, and I want your hormones to be as normal as they can be. I think I remember Dr. Liu right before I was I was put out. I think I remember him saying, well, I, I asked him, okay, so when I wake up, it's going to be over, right? And he said, yes. And the next thing I knew, I saw his face again when I woke up. It must have been six hours later. And he said, hi, everything went great. It was exactly like I thought it was going to go. And we did exactly what we thought we were going to do. And you're fine. You're great. It was a total success.